What's going on, gang? I'm back. I'm back in Illinois, man. The ill state. You feel me? Chicago. But really, we from Joliet, man. Y'all be saying Joliet. Stop saying Joliet, y'all. We from Joliet. Y'all Chicago mother truckers. Y'all be saying Joliet. Everybody else say Joliet. No, no. It's Joliet around here. You feel me? Big 815 shit. But right now, we in Romeoville, though, because, yeah. I'm gonna be uh, helping out the Joliet store, y'all. So y'all you know, know they be uh, trying to use the kid for the help. I bring that energy, and you know I'm gonna do my best with every customer and give them every option they deserve to see, with the biggest discount, and uh, and hopefully they you know pull the trigger. And if they don't, you stay happy, smiling, thankful, grateful that they even gave you a chance, and then you move forward. You get what I'm saying? And then you leave that in the past. Um, you know, you guys should be treating the customers the same regardless, right? If they buy or don't, treat them the same. But, yeah, it sucks, though, when you spend some time with them and then all of a sudden they're like, yeah, uh, not buying today. It's cool. It does suck for us because we sell people, but doesn't mean we got to treat them bogus, y'all. Not at all. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm heading to, uh, you know, my the person I'm going to help in Joliet is my old store manager. She's the one that got me the job seven years ago. And he's like, uh, I heard you're getting breakfast. Who the hell could he have heard that from, y'all? I don't even know nobody at the Joliet store. He be capping. But here I am, like a rookie for him all the time. He the only one that could get me to do this. That's because he the one that got me the job and gave me this opportunity a long time ago. It's the only reason why he's the only one that can make me do this. But either way, uh, he deserves it, man. He had heart surgery, uh, and he's still fighting it. He still got pains in his chest all the time. So um, he's getting a veggie omelet or something like that. But uh, egg whites, but uh, you know, always make sure y'all take care of the people that fed you, man. Put food in your mouth, helped you and your family out, um, and never ever start treating them bogus or ungrateful or don't don't make it seem like you use them by out of nowhere you treating them different once you get into the money or you get to a certain position. You feel me? Uh, always stay you, man. Always stay you. Um, that's the best thing you can do for yourself, guys. It's the best advice. For, the, for you at all, period, overall, man. If you want to be somebody or have people respect you or people show you love, man, you got to be yourself, man. As soon as they see you acting like somebody else or you talk behind people's backs, you do this and that, bro, you, you just fake and you phony and it's over with. I know I'm not hanging out with you. That's, that's, a, damn, that's a damn fact. I'm not hanging out with you. Now, I'm not saying that we all perfect, that, not every, that nobody talks behind people's backs. You know, everybody like drama, everybody gossips. Um, so no, definitely, I do that shit too. And I've told y'all before, I'm not a 100% real human being. I, I've been said that before, man. I'm gonna go with 70, 60% real. And um, y'all know the rest, the rest fake, man. Cause there's some, there's some times where motherfuckers talking behind people's backs, I ain't gonna flex to you. But y'all motherfuckers do the same thing about me. So, hey, it is what it is. Uh, most of the stuff I say, I've said to y'all faces, I don't have no problem. Matter of fact, when people have confirmed me about things, I say I repeat it and never, ever have said no. So I always, always man up to it, man. Um, and I'm never, ever fake or phony. That's not me, my boys. My boys. But, yeah, y'all, I'm excited low-key. I'm excited to go back into work <laughs> for a lot of reasons. A, I need fucking money, lots of money. B, I miss work, man. I miss helping cl clients out and... Uh, you know, fulfilling their uh, mattress needs and furniture needs and being a specialist for them and making sure, uh, you know, they're making the right decisions. Um, I was offered to go work at Gucci uh, in downtown Michigan, in downtown Chicago, in Michigan. Um, I met this uh, amazing lady named Courtney, who's a sales service manager at the Gucci store in Las Vegas. And she loved me right away. And she has, has connections in Chicago downtown and said, she could probably get me in, but man, I want to I want to ask y'all, man, what y'all think about that? What y'all think about the Gucci opportunity? Should I leave the job I've been at for seven years, uh, where I have four weeks paid vacation? Um, they take you on on trips every year when you hit a million dollars for them, which I always hit a million dollars for them. Um, what y'all think, gang? Should Martin leave and go to Gucci? Gucci, 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 Gucci. It's all in Gucci, Gucci. I have been buying a lot of Gucci. So it's like, okay, okay, what, what you think, what you think? Is it a sign? Is it a sign? Is it a sign, sign? And you know, Gucci uh, ain't got shit back ordered. 
they probably do for like the high high end clients that always want to order shit. Yeah, they probably do got back order shit for them, but furniture's back order just three to six months, y'all, and it don't look like it's getting any better. So it's a tough, tough call. Um, but yeah, man, uh, one of them days, y'all, one of them days. But I'm back, day one, back in Illinois, and it's back to the grind and uh, back to my regular vlogs, man. I hope y'all enjoy the Vegas vlogs. Uh, I think they were all lit. I think I did an amazing job on all of them. Um, could I have done better? Absolutely. Um, but y'all know how it goes down. But I'm gonna be seeing y'all, man. I'm gonna be seeing y'all. I hope y'all doing well. And uh, have a marvelous Tuesday, man. A fantastic Tuesday, y'all. High energy Tuesday. Uh, remember, nobody can stop you from being great but you. I'll see y'all in a bit. Yo, what's going on, y'all? Man, man, man. Just picked up CJ, dropped him off. Uh, he was super tired. Had all the damn diamond chains on. That shit was glittering. He had the George V shirt on. That shit was glittering with it. But, <clears throat> yeah, man. I just want to let y'all know, like, we had a blast in Las Vegas, guys. And if you really want to see proof, all you got to do is see my last videos that I've been dropping. All them videos were like at least over 40 minutes each and they was just going so dumb so much fun if you've never been to vegas you want to watch my videos you can imagine it. like i really show every detail and then but i really need y'all to see the video i dropped yesterday uh the video this video is going to drop on um tuesday so y'all need to watch my monday video that shit is going super up it's an hour and 50 minutes, my longest video I've ever done, but it's also my best video so far. It's one out of 10, it's doing excellent, and I know why. It's because I got really good footage, y'all. I was walking around Drea's nightclub like I was the owner of it. I literally went to every section, everywhere you can go, and I recorded top, bottom, middle. Um, I was in people's faces with the flash on. Whoever had diamond chains on, I was putting that shit on the vlog. Whoever had some exclusive shoes on, or some drip. I was putting all that shit in the vlog. Y'all wanna see this shit. And of course, I was hanging out with the realest in there and it was just straight up. Um, CJ So Cool, Royalty, they team, the whole So Cool team. Um, we was with, you know, the whole 32 game. We were CJ32 as a leader and we was just all just vibing. There was other people there that I never met, but I guess they were millionaires as well. Like guys, I didn't even know, like literally hanging out with just people that already made it. So, you know, if I keep hanging out with them, keep putting myself around them, then, you know, I can become them. So my mindset's already how their mindset is. I just don't have the money. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't have the resources and the money yet, but my mindset's already where they're at. I'm already having all these ideas and thoughts and stuff I can do. I just don't have the money yet. So I need y'all to press that subscribe button and get your boy out there um, and share it and share this stuff with people, man. The video that I'm telling y'all to watch tomorrow, this video a week, I'm just going to tell y'all. Remember, I'm back to Illinois. Like, I work every day, y'all. So it's hard for me to create content. So this video going to be weak, but I need y'all to go watch the video I dropped on Monday. I'm telling you right now, like, that one can really help me out if y'all just share it, show people. Um, I'm really starting to think if I can like start telling people that I can come record their events like wedding events birthday party events stuff like that because I know how to record and vlog and I'm not afraid to go in people's faces and talk to them and interact um, and I'll probably even start doing it for free just to get my name out there and I don't know man maybe y'all can be hiring the kid for like coming to vlog your events something that some people don't do you know how people just do pictures and stuff like oh shit that was a nice picture what if you had a whole video of that day you know like an hour long two hour long video of that day from beginning to end and just showing all the little stuff you guys are doing and stuff like that man but y'all know i'm brainstorming i'm trying to figure out ways to get up there you know the last two videos on cj on 32's youtube were were made by me i recorded them so you know he started them and he passed the ball and then I, I dunked it you feel me so I need y'all to go ahead and watch the videos. Press that like button on this one, comment below, and hit that subscribe button, man. Make sure y'all press that bell next to subscribe and turn it on all post notifications. So every time I drop something, 
you guys will see it. But want to really appreciate everybody's been giving me views. My videos were going nuts in Las Vegas. Um, Y'all was really watching me. And, you know, being nosy. Hey, that's okay. I'll, I'll be nosy too, y'all. I'm nosy too. So I do not blame y'all. But right now, I dropped CJ off. I went to Mr. Subs. Y'all know that's my favorite spot. It's a quick little hit for the low. I got my three-piece high with my garlic cheese fries. And, um, yeah, it's going down. Need y'all to go watch that video. I'm telling you guys, I need that video to go to at least 10,000. It deserves 10,000. I showed crazy footage that y'all ain't gonna see on nobody else channel um of a bunch of we seen i seen cartel people there i put them on the channel i seen rich people everywhere guys like this is the rich of the riches were here you know little baby had everybody come out then on top of that i had little baby performance now you can still hear the video too like you can hear the music i put drums over it that aren't even that annoying so y'all can still experience the music and all that you know so, yeah, y'all, go check me out and let me know what y'all think about it. But this is Life of M.E. and I'm checking out. I'll be seeing y'all tomorrow. Adios. Oh, because some came in the mail today. Yeah, I did. These nuts. <laughs> Got it. <he. laughs> Got it. <he. laughs>